the largest in person community event for tesla owners and electric vehicle enthusiasts in north america happened last week the showcase would bring together some of the best minds in electric vehicles at this point the aftermarket players innovations in addition to bringing together all the tesla enthusiasts we set off early for the roughly 3 hour drive these were the available details of the event we had decided to give the friday a miss which listed the coast ride and the tesla light show the contest for the modified tesla 2 was not much of an interest to me but will be featured ahead in this film the big attraction was a showcasing of the app era the roadster and the very interesting exhibition of tesla accessories services and products to top it the features built by the enthusiasts that would enable camping in a tesla also of interest was to interact with the professionals at tesla the youtube community sharing their experiences and ideas and more The event at San Luis Obispo, which is roughly halfway between the San Francisco Bay Area in the north and the Greater Los Angeles in the south of California, immediately off the 101, you see the majestic location of the Tesla takeover. And while entering, you see the modified Teslas lined up. Honestly, it's a very wacky display of the user's imagination at places, but it's also interesting to see the kind of human emotions the brand arouses in its wildest and gentlest form. It also establishes the relationship the Tesla name has with users way beyond its sustainability message. Some of the people here had traveled as far from Canada, UK and Singapore. I was happy to soak the classic California summer at this place. Barbecues doing their bit in the corner, open lush fields to trample upon, all amidst technology products and their best adopters. For once I was in a place where I did not have to hold back the topic I most like to talk about, electric vehicles and Tesla. Even the Rivian had made a presence here in a Tesla show. So that was a great sight to see. It's only the cooperation that's going to take us all forward. to add individual users had parked their mustang markies the lucid and even a ford f150 lightning no better place to showcase at than the growing community of the biggest ev name right
In true entrepreneurial spirit, the Aptera CEO Chris Anthony was himself showing the car. I had a great conversation with him and he told me about some intricate facts around the product. In his keynote, he spoke about the ultimate idea of not chasing people but engineering a good product and to that end how they had focused on aerodynamics first, then the right weight of the vehicle, motors that were fit into the wheels of the vehicle, finally to arrive at a car that uses less than 100 watt hours per mile. Its early adoption of Tesla's NACS, much before the recent jump into of the big brands. How they had built 700 watts of solar on top of the car giving 40 miles per day along a 50 kilowatt DC charging capability and much more. I'm dropping a link to his full formal interview at the venue in the description. That's thanks to Arturo and Thatcher. These are the 2022 specs of the Aptera. It's offered in three exterior colors and three dual tone interior ones. It's 172 inches long, 88 inches wide and 57 inches tall. At my 6 feet height, I did have to find my way a bit when taking the driver's seat in the two-seater car. It has a 25 cubic feet storage at 3.5 seconds and 5.5 seconds for the 0 to 60 in the all-wheel and front-wheel drive options with the 150 kilowatt and 100 kilowatt motors it offers 100 miles per hour in top speed. Chris told me of a more precise number of 110 miles per hour. It has four range options from 250 miles to 1000 miles depending on the energy option one chooses. The specs mentions a 110 volt level 1 charging capability along with 50 kilowatt DC fast charging. The miles per hour indicator is not something I will pay heat to. The car also has a 15 inch screen. Most of those specs match the prevalent industry standards, but at a smaller size, one will have to look for the pudding by eating. I collected my own impressions. As much as it may seem, I think the only way an EV can prove its worth is when it's out on the road, which I think is yet to occur in substantial numbers for the Aptera, irrespective of the thousands of pre-orders that it has. I also felt the car was far better suited to some of the European markets with its small size than what I have seen with US users.
I wanted them all to come and study in the medical faculty and then it's for free. But they wanted to go their own way, so they had to, I said, then you're on your own. And they had to pull out all their forms and stuff. I didn't even look at them. I think they faked my signature. I have no idea. <laughs> because I didn't have time to read it. And they got loans and they got scholarships. And they just themselves because they were Takeover 2023. Let's hear it from everybody. The event was conducted wonderfully and to the full credit of the organizers. To me, it seemed a showcase for all kinds of players in the EV space. To start the budding aftermarket industry, companies making accessories for the Tesla and others, some of which appeared of genuine value, while some were purely playing on the consumer mind. Then there were the industry voices, the YouTubers who have followed the growth of the EV industry over the previous decade. Events like these are a precious platform for newer brands which have little support in the open market. The users share experiences, help one another with problems, and the ecosystem built helps startup brands, which Tesla once was. Though at this point, I see Tesla having grown way past that stage. So the Apteras and the Rivians probably had a better take home. 
the event also conducted a raffle to distribute aftermarket products that's more to the community not to forget the modifier artists and the tesla campers on the whole it was a wonderful experience and i will definitely recommend it to those interested in the space and in the vicinity to attend in the future whenever possible hope you enjoyed this share until the next one take very good care